What is up guys? Welcome to the February 25th patch update. The one that's supposed to fix all of our problems. And well, um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I switched to a 3770K recently and that is actually what fixed my crashing uh, from the February 13th patch. Now obviously, not everybody out there can go and switch out their processor. So, what I did is went into all these servers and uh, played each of the maps and just typed in chat, you know, is this update helping you guys? And pretty much unanimously, everybody said yes, uh, because obviously they were on those servers and on those maps. So, it was working for them, but I, I was curious to see if they weren't able to play them before. Now they are. So, I did go back to the forums just to double check, and uh, people still are having issues. Now, who knows? I mean, it's you really have to throw out a big net when it comes to patching something that's uh, this weird or wild. I've never seen a, a patch be this hard uh, to get out. It seems like uh, it's taken them just about forever. To, it's almost two weeks now to get this patch uh, that that's fixing the patch that broke the game. Oh god, yeah. You, if you play Battlefield, you know. You know. It's it's a never-ending cycle. So, apparently, supposedly, they've fixed the loop crash. Hopefully, for everybody, uh, we'll see. Uh, from what I can tell, the majority of people, just from hopping on this morning and talking to people, uh, it seems to have fixed it for a lot of people. So, that's the big one, obviously. I think that's what everybody's curious about. So, if you did find this video and you're still crashing, I apologize, I'll try to update it as soon as I hear anything. Um, I'm always browsing the forums to see if anybody uh, had any idea of how to fix it. If you haven't tried the um, editing your config file, I'll tack that on to the end of this video and show you how you can do that and see if that helps you. Um, so they supposedly fixed the sound loop crash. They fixed you uh, not being able to shoot when you're in the gunner's position. Sometimes uh, it would lock up on you. Uh, and the headshot icon was popping up when people weren't getting headshots and you would like suicide and stuff. So that's kind of stupid because first it was the 100 or the zero health bug, now it's the hell the headshot bug. Fix that. Uh, they fixed some general stability. I think that's in every update. Uh, and then they also fixed uh, some sky fog problems with mantle and they fixed some memory stuff with mantle as well. So. Looks like they are really trying with Mantle to keep that up to date for all you AMD bro stuff out there. So, anyways, guys, uh, I did put together some footage as you can see in the background, me playing each of the maps. I went in, like I said, and made sure nothing was crashing still for me. So, they didn't break anything. It doesn't appear this time. It appears everything is working uh, again, and we'll see. But from what I can tell and what I've heard from people, everything seems to be good to go. So thank you guys for checking out this update video. As I said, I'll tack the end fix on the back end of this video and here we go. Alrighty guys, in the little quick workaround that you can see, I'll leave this forum post uh, along with the other links down below and uh, basically you're going to go to your uh, Battlefield 4 folder wherever you save the game. I have it in Origin Games here, Battlefield 4, and there should be, if you're having crashes, there should be a user config file that you can see here. Basically, go in, uh, delete the ui.drawenable space one command. That's just a HUD, basically, uh, and I believe it should work. That's not going to delete your HUD, don't worry, uh, but it, it should reset something in there. And uh, yeah, it looks like it might be working for some people. It might not be working. Again, just one of those things that you might as well try if you're having trouble. So. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And I'll always update this video as I learn things. So uh, come back to this video if you have questions. And uh, I'll update the comments below and let you know if I learn anything. So thank you guys for checking out the video. And we'll talk to you later.